Local Makers. There's a valuable nonprofit resource, a creative reuse center. Ava Bratz is live there at Recraft Greenville, where these creatives have ideas for reusing items. We have holiday decor, uh, gift wrapping, puzzles out of wreaths, too, Ava. And I'm telling you what, it is the cutest idea ever. We have Grant's already pre-made creation here, but grab an old photo from the attic. You're already going up there anyways, right? You were talking Absolutely. about Grant. So how does the puzzle wreath work? Um, well, it works like a lot of the materials we have here at Recraft. Um, everything we have was generously donated by the community. It, it's things that people realize has value, just mm -hmm. maybe not for them anymore. And this is a way that they can give it back, put it back out in the community. Mm -hmm. We've all got um, those, those puzzles where you lose like one piece. What do you do with the other pieces? Right. And <laughs> what we've got here, so we've got a vintage photograph, some, someone's This isn't your memory. baby photo? This is not from I'm our family. I'm disappointed. Come on. But, you know, a photograph just like this one might be in your attic, right sure. next to the Christmas decorations. Yeah. And wouldn't it be great is to actually get it down from the attic and actually make something with it. Okay. Get it out of the attic. Here we go. Get it out of the attic. Get it out of that drawer. Come on. Be empowered. Get Absolutely. these things back. How cute is this? Plus, I mean, it really adds a lot of color to your tree. You can hang them on your mantle been for a tree, you know? You, you could. could. Do a whole lot of things. So I did not have any uh, ornament holders, but I took a paper clip, repurposed it, and look at that. It could definitely hang on the tree. And we were even talking about maybe some smaller things you can make with those, right? Some uh, ornaments? Yeah, you could absolutely make an ornament. I'm thinking if we just kind of like circle them around, and then you could just have a puzzle tree. That would be incredible. There's really no limit to what you can do with great materials. Absolutely. I don't think there was anybody in the neighborhood with a puzzle tree, so you could be the first. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Well, this is adorable, and this was actually even donated just recently. This was donated yesterday. Um, someone made a wreath for their front door out of corks. Oh, my so gosh. So a place like this, we have thousands of materials that you can come in and browse. We're actually sitting in our makerspace right now mm -hmm. where anyone can just come in and express themselves creatively. And creatively. all ages, which is what I am huge on, getting to go to these places growing up, yes. that really sparked it in my mind. So how does it work? How, do they make, how, how can I come into the makerspace and really make something? Um, anyone can come in. We're open from 10 to 6, Wednesday through Saturday. It is hands-on. It is open-ended. It is all ages. And uh, we just let people choose what they want uh, to express themselves. Mm -hmm. And there are tons of sections as you kind of go deeper into the underbelly of Recraft, different areas where you can either fill a bag for five bucks or there's, you know, 50 cent bottle caps. So there are really a lot of things you guys can see here. We're going to check back in here a little bit, Margaret, to do some sustainable wrapping. So we've got the tree decor. We need to figure out what's going underneath the tree in just a little bit. I like that. Really brilliant ideas that we can try. Ava, we will uh, check in with you soon. Look forward to it.